That really was a good sandwich, Gasparilla Island Grill. It's a quick walk from Magic Kingdom. It's definitely worth it. It really is, especially because I feel like you know, the food in Magic Kingdom sometimes you, you know, it's not what you expect. So getting something like that, I feel like it's a nice kind of staple. Bye. If you don't know already, very quick overview, the Genie app, which is kind of incorporated within the uh, My Disney Experience app, is a way for you to plan your day at Walt Disney World. Genie Plus is $15 per person per day. You can start booking early in the morning, but you can only book one attraction at a time. And this is where <laughs> this is where things start to fall apart a little bit in my mind. In theory, the system was meant to make the guest experience better. It was, in theory. In the past, at Walt Disney World, you go, you can show up day of, and go and experience the magic. It's become so complex, in fact, that you have to have a smartphone in order to do most things at Walt Disney World now. And my buddy Adam was actually talking about this in his video, great one, by the way. And I personally, as someone who's been going to Walt Disney World since before I was born, since before I was born, but I've been coming to the parks for a few days without my camera, without my phone, filming other stuff, you know, sharing the, you know, the adventures with you in other ways and sharing fun with you in other ways. But I do think that with time, there's going to be fatigue. There are two options with this fatigue. Here we are in front of the Main Street train station, and oh my gosh, we're just looking at it all through the smartphone. Okay, we're gonna follow it around. You see what I mean? All right, let's just walk around a little bit. For reference, I'm going to show you one of the Lightning Lane experiences. Now, this is just for Lightning Lane, not Genie Plus, right? So I'm just showing you one specific instance. 20 minute wait is what it says for Space Mountain or $7 per person for Space Mountain Lightning Lane. Let's take a look. 20 minute wait time for Space Mountain or Lightning Lane for $7. Just referencing that as we walk over here. Personally, I feel like the uh, 20 minute wait is worth it. Might not be for everyone. Maybe, maybe you feel like it's worth it for the $7 per person. But I think the system is so complicated for not just, you know, the Disney vacationer who's like a casual traveler, but even for some of us who take the time to research it and to figure out what time we have to click the button to get certain, you know, lightning lanes on at certain times, it just, I think that system alone needs to change. Good morning. It is my first morning as a Florida resident. I am beyond belief when it comes to my emotions. I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm sad a little bit for you know, things I'm missing at home. You know, when I say home, I'm in Maryland, but now my home is Florida, so there's, there's a lot of things on my mind. It's just, the moving is such a big process. I'll have to make more videos about moving, but it's, um, it's exciting, to say the least. Today is not a park day. Maybe it's a restaurant day, but not a park day. I'm saving the official first park day for a day where uh, we have a little bit more time and uh, everybody can have their pass and everything. 